Hey, look what I printed out yesterday from this website that has a bunch of severe weather warnings back to 1986. This is 11 years of severe thunderstorm warnings issued for Harford County, Maryland, which is the county I live in. And this first one was issued on April 19th, 2002. And there are a few here in 2002. This next one is from May 2nd. And this says, hail up to one inch in diameter was reported in Baltimore City, which is about 30 miles to the southwest of here. And then here's one from May 12th. And then this goes all the way to the most recent warning. Well, here's the second most recent warning from the morning of June 13th, uh, which was just last week. And this was a very strong storm. I had never seen anything like it before. And it turned out to be a minor derecho but it was intense, and it said in the warning here, it was capable of producing hail up to the size of half dollars. I had never seen that wording before. I had heard of penny-sized hail, nickel-sized hail, ping-pong ball size hail, but never half dollar size before. And here's the latest warning. This is also from the morning of June 13th. This was just 25 minutes after that other warning. And this also includes Baltimore City and Baltimore and Arundel and Howard counties. So basically about half of the Baltimore metro area. And Let's see some of my favorite warnings that I remember. Here's one from back in 2003. I remember this because it mentioned the it mentioned a village called Bentley Springs in northern Baltimore County. And before this day, I never heard of that. And my parents were shocked because I like to read maps and I'm really good at geography. So they thought I knew every town and every village in the state of Maryland. So they were shocked that I never heard of Bentley Springs before. And... Hmm. 2006... Oh, there's one from 2008. Oh yeah, I remember this one from 2008. That happens about an hour after I got home from school. And it hit Frederick County and Carroll County, which is over to the west, and they got hit really bad. And I was afraid that we would get hit just as bad, but... It was weaker by the time it got here. And then, this is from six days later. The power went out at my house from this storm. So, my two brothers and I ended up spending the night at my dad's house in Jarrettsville, which is mentioned in the wording there. And, uh, I live in Forest Hill, by the way. There were a lot in the summer of 2008. Here's one that I recorded on the Weather Channel and it was one of the very first videos I ever uploaded to YouTube. And
and um, but the one I uploaded to YouTube was the continuation statement or the severe weather update as it's called so um, let's see if there's any more worth sharing there's a bunch from 2009, 2010, still 2010, still 2010. Oh, this is like the whole Baltimore metro area. Oh, and there's one I discovered from 2009. Um that I don't remember at all, probably because I was sleeping. Let's see, it was like early 2009. Here we go. This is like, this includes Harford County, but also parts of Northern Virginia, which is like 80 miles south of where I live, and also the District of Columbia. So this is almost the whole Baltimore, Washington area. And I thought this was interesting, but the National Weather Service office in Sterling, Virginia, or the Baltimore, Washington office, uh, likes to issue severe thunderstorm warnings, or I guess tornado warnings, for... 10 or more counties at once, or independent cities. Um, and I guess that's it for these 11 years of severe thunderstorm warnings. So, bye.